Thank you, Professor Desanayaka, for the eye-opening session and encouraging us engineers to become entrepreneurs. Our next keynote speaker for the day is Dr. A.C. Viswalingam, our esteemed guest of honor. Dr. Viswalingam will enlighten us on the significance of lifelong learning in the ever-evolving field of engineering. After gaining valuable experience on landmark projects, Dr. Viswalingam returned to Sri Lanka in 1970 with the goal of developing the country's river basins. Despite the challenges, he excelled in engineering and management, working on various projects while also dedicating his time to mentoring and supporting younger professionals. Dr. Viswalingam's journey began with a strong educational foundation, excelling academically and representing his country at a youth forum in New York. He furthered his studies in Japan and Cambridge, gaining expertise in different engineering disciplines throughout his career. Dr. Viswalingam worked on significant projects in different countries, including the Walter River project in Ghana and Niger Dam project in the UK. His commitment to problem solving and his reputation for resolving complex challenges earned him respect in the field. In addition to his engineering achievements, Dr. Viswalingam actively participated in professional organizations and public service. He, had, he held leadership roles such as President of the Society of Structural Engineers Sri Lanka and the Citizens Movement for Good Governance. He also served on arbitration tribunals alongside esteemed judges. Ultimately, Dr. Whisper's story serves as an inspiration for aspiring engineers, highlighting the importance of dedication, perseverance, and the pursuit of excellence in one's chosen field. I now invite Dr. Viswalingam to address the gallery. Say in a dark room like this, you don't know it's evening or morning. <coughs> anyway, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I um, have not spoken in public for a long time, so you will notice a little <coughs> blem in the throat, which has normally used to be loosened by a lot of talk, but now it's stuck there. Um, I Uh, 
understand the very fundamentals to employ all these computer programs, but you are not able to get a real understanding. I mean, for example, you go to some place, there are no calculations for building, what is collapsing? How are you going to handle it? You can't ask for your design to give the calculation. You have to use the field for the construction. Experience is one, but more experience, understanding of how structure behaves, how the soil behaves, and so on. So, anyway, this is just to tell you that engineering is not just the university design or <coughs> getting your membership of the institution, it was only a small part, a small part of the total engineering. This has to be acquired by feeling your engineering. You must feel engineering. I, mean, I can't describe it in any other way. And, uh, you see a building, you understand the reason you are sort of the sort of hardest building. That's only can you can you really design or preserve. So uh, that is written by message here that long term learning is not reading more and more, getting more and more degrees, attending more and more advanced courses, no. But more oh, involving the ones is a small house which is cracking up. I mean I have become lots of houses which are cracked up, involved and so on. You try to understand why it's I once went to Nano, St. Chadens, and here the building was just cracking because of the house. And uh, there was no one to find out why it was cracking because it's the same foundation of the house. I went, walked out, and I found the crack was concentrated here. A water tap. What is happening? They put the water tap within the wall, and the water coming down and removed the fine material from the soil just under the wall at that point. So naturally, the voids. Under the wall, increase in there, the wall settles there, and that. so I mean, so no amount of studying or theory or anything will help you. You have to have a keen eye and keen understanding of what you are doing. Anyway, this is what you get from life from experience. Of course, I was very fortunate. I did uh, structural engineering in London when I went to Africa, then I worked on dams, but that's a different kind of structure. It works in a different way. It uh, works in the dams. How do you settle up, how do you build, and how do you cross the different tracks? Completely different. So you have to reprogram your mind to understand the behavior of a dam and how it work, and also the fact that you need its floods, diverted water, and cleaning uh, up the river bed, and a hundred and things like that. You should not have a person to do this. And of God, that somebody does some soil test or object, and uh, you start it on. So, to be a good structural engineer, you only do structural engineering. You must go a little bit outside your brain and get a little experience outside, then only can you be a good structural engineer. Uh, so, these are things which I learned from lifelong experiences. Other thing is teaching me. Great interest in personally going to every single person working in my office, and I used to teach them how to even to draft how thick a line should be, how uh, the drenching should be done around drawing, and so on. I don't think many engineers they can do that because now you have got everything that you've tried, but you know, they, you have to uh, write everything out of the ground, and all that as an engineer I have to do drafting, I have to be able to teach drafting, and also. Out fast and get them quickly. They are nice ways. Sometimes uh, I can go to each land where a dam in Nigeria they will construct it. They are almost uh, uh, all ready to get the uh, pit stops reinforced. The reinforcement for the 28 foot diameter get pit stops. I just happened to join that firm, tied up to the coin and the uh, calculations and realized that the engineer had. Brilliant idea from Cambridge, first class. We had uh, designed the bench for school to be used. The American US Corps of Engineers design data and so on and so forth. Uh, for shrinkage and uh, 100 and 100 things. We, all those things were taken to account, but they have forgotten to take into account in general order. Actually, the design was completely wrong and they were building it at that point. Where I needed help, because the situation was correct. 
Thank you very much indeed for your patience.